Uh, I'm making a headshot scan today. I start with the uh, face mode. I, I do with the body mode for the second time. Yeah, I already finished the uh, face scan. Uh, this will be a body mode, uh, high quality. Uh, body mode, I should be able to scan the head. I should be able to scan the head and the shoulder. Alright, first scan is completed. So if I connect to the USB C here. I won't have uh, any frame drop issue. I won't complete the circle because it could cause the this uh, thing. I I won't complete the circle because it could cause the drifting. So this should be it. All right, complete. I stop the scan, and then I will. I scan the face with higher detail. I do the same headshot with the uh, Napter NIR mode to, to compare the new version of the software, uh, how much detail it improves over the time. นี่นี่ดูความละเอียดของมันนะละเอียดมากเฮ้ยติงกงติงกามาครบเลยอ่ะเฮ้ยติงกงติงกามาครบเลยผมไม่อ่ะผมไม่อ่ะนี่เราอ
Uh, this is the result from the body mode. Look at the hair. It has a special algorithm to detect the hair properly. This looks very nice. Comparing with uh, my father-in-law here, he has a very short hair. And on the top of his head, he cannot detect the hair. Here's the laptop in the uh, infrared mode. And this is the author. Uh, I can tell that the author gives uh, higher detail. Uh, the laptop has a similar number of white cloud, but the author still give uh, better details on the surface. Look at the neck here. The author give uh, wrinkle details, so pronounced. But with the uh, laptop, it's fine, but uh, it lost a lot of detail on the skin. So one of the user asked me if uh, if he can uh, occasionally can uh, face with the laptop, I would say yes. But uh, if you print with the resin printer, you will lose the detail of the skin. The bottom half detail. And then I merge the face to the body. Point climber. Scan 1 and scan 2. Oh, see if it did now. Oh, it's merged automatically. That's amazing. Because the in the previous version of the software, I need to do this manually. Ah, look at this. Merging is all perfect. I don't have to do a, a alignment and clicking. But the ears, you see here, the ears, because he moved, I think. Uh, be a three and four, right? Three and four. Start. Okay, this is quick and quite good. Click yes. Exit. Uh, here's the result uh, in Blender. I display this uh, model in uh, real time ray tracing so that you can see all the details from the scanner. Uh, for my mother-in-law here, her hair is thicker, so I do a very small amount of uh, post-processing. Uh, I almost didn't do anything, I just add uh, some hair to the top of the head, and the scanner detects the hair uh, very well, uh, if the hair is thicker. Uh, there's some problem with the uh, hair closer to the ears, uh, which is uh, thinner, and uh, the scanner cannot detect the skin underneath it. I uh, smooth out the joint between the scan from uh, body mode and face mode. Okay, for my father-in-law, his hair is uh, very short, about one centimeter. It's thin and white color. Uh, the scanner cannot detect the hair very well, so uh, in the back is fine where the hair is more. But in the front and on the top, uh, even in a, in a body mode, the, the scanner cannot uh, create a correct uh, hair dimension. So I need to add uh, manually add some hair at the front here. So this uh, depends on the hairstyle of the object. And the detail of the skin is nice. This is good enough for uh, for printing in a in a with a laser printer and a filament printer. Okay, so some of the viewer asked if to compare the the scan from the laptop. The artifacts on the cheek here could be from the object move uh, during the scan. The level of detail uh, looks very similar. The wrinkle here. Uh, author in the body mode is, is much easier to scan because it has a larger scanning area and it tracks much better than the laptop infrared mode. I think for now, uh, at this price point, 
author is the best scanner for scanning the headshot. It took me less than uh, three minutes to complete the uh, two scans and merge. Uh, the merging is done automatically and uh, the post-processing work is very, very minimal. Thanks for uh, watching.